you may wonder why that's on there that is because well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you think about it. make you wonder. A lot of y'all may know, and you probably already do. But you'll see there's only well, there's only one way to do it. Uh, one way. Two different pieces of tools, but this is my way because it was the cheaper way. I paid 60 bucks for it versus $180, $200 for a, uh, a lift. Well, what we're going to do, we got to take these three bolts out of the strut or shot three bolts out over here right here then we got to take the one off for the engine mount right there there's only one you can see it right there there's two there and there and then there's two back here and I'm gonna have to take the sway bar loose as well a little bit more stuff than i was thinking not no big deal about 10 more bolts or nuts off whatever that's both sides and then we're gonna drop the subframe and i may i may have to bust the brake lines loose which i hate doing because i'm gonna have to bleed them again but if i gotta do it i gotta do it um i moved the jack stands back where it's on the subframe now on this side and we use these jack stands to support it along with the uh along with the um jack as well when we get to that point you'll understand why i'm doing this and then eventually you'll really understand why i'm doing it um but I'm going to go ahead and get started on it, get as much as I can done. I'm going to try to get most of it done today. Uh, if not, get them at least off today. That would be great. Um, that would be great. Uh, so I'll come back, give you an update report when I come back. Completely, well, it's not really related to the blower, obviously. But it kind of does. It's going to help me breathe better. Hint. Uh, but like I said, yeah, I'll be back. All right, don't look at my hair, I'm going bald, and I'm sweating my ass off. Okay, I've got every bolt out now. I've took all the shock bolts out. I got two left, I'm gonna put it like that. I got two left, and it's trying to fall. So I got jack stands up under there supporting part of it. Now how am I gonna let it down easily? I don't know, but we're gonna have to figure this shit out. But the subframe is almost out. Wish I had a tubular to go ahead and throw under this bitch. But I don't, and that's down the road a little ways, a little ways, six months a year or so, just because I'm not really important to me. But let's go ahead and drop. Hopefully I don't get my fucking head crushed or and limb. That would suck. I got the brake lines all loose. Alright y'all, figured out why it ain't coming out. It's because of those jack stands back there. That's why I told you to stay back. Alright. 
after a big scare I'm back we got it dropped it's being supported by the jack is all well in a jack stand uh, single jack stand in the back uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and do one and I'll come back and show you and then you'll know what I'm doing and then I'll show you what I got uh, this thing right here is awesome it's working uh, it was 60 bucks one of Harbor Freight's better products it's saving me some money it's that well it's saving our money but I'm gonna keep it because it can be used for other things um, so yeah pretty damn awesome I'm gonna go ahead and do something right quick get back to you all right what's up i'm back uh i went and ate and took a break as you see i'm nasty as shit and i'm i'm sweaty and i stink like hell uh but this header oh now you know what i'm doing header off oh, not to mention that deleted that's egr and shit on that that i'm deleting i let this let me show you. On the exhaust, I did the headers, obviously the long tubes, which y'all will see. I just wanted to let you know that an easy way, the driver's side is easy to get the O2 sensors off. But right here, if you go through here with a 22 millimeter wrench, easy as hell to get it off. Comes right out, uh, and that's in order you got to take it off to get order to get to your bolts to get your manifolds off, or to unbolt it from your manifolds. Um, as you can see they're on and they look good um, I have a BBK X pipe that's a BBK X pipe and these are the mufflers I'm going with they they're gonna be extremely loud um but i like loud fuck it why not um they're a good brand i got them pretty i got a pretty good deal on them i feel like uh these mufflers in particular they are stainless uh they run about i think 140 or 150 a piece got them for 120 both and they were on you can tell they're almost brand new uh, they're a little dirty, but yes, Borla attacks gonna be awesome. Cannot wait. We are so so close to getting this car done. I have just been working crazy hours. Um. So that's that's where I'm at on it. It will have a full exhaust. I got a few more things that's coming for it, like I told you. Um, if you've been keeping up with Instagram, I posted a few things. Um, not as much as I should, but I got some other things coming for it that we're gonna do before we get it tuned and all. Uh, just because it's something I wanted to do and really it needed to be done. Um, but I got we got some more videos coming and uh then we're gonna have some videos on ripping on this shit. We are gonna <laughs> we are gonna have some fun.